Hello welcome back to Programming with Singarte. Today I will show you Laravel Online Library Management System. Well I just ask you guys for a favor if you don't subscribe to my channel please subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. In this system the librarian or the admin will have access to the whole system, and the system is user friendly, and it's easy to use with or without having the any knowledge about computer programming. What you just need to know is to understand the simple English. So system let me show you how it's works step by step. Firstly, we need to register a librarian or admin to manage the system. Now I will register the librarian. Step 1. You need to navigate to the register a new librarian or admin. And after seeing the registration page you can add the detail that you want to register with. After registering the user to manage the system we need to navigate to the login page and then enter our login credentials to have access to login on side the system. After login inside the system, the librarian or admin can able to perform CRUD operations, such as adding new books, viewing new books, updating new books, and deleting existing books from the system. The librarian can also able to view all the books that are available inside, inside the library, and the librarian can also add the book categories such as fiction or non-fiction, to categorize the books so that the students can able to find their interesting books with a single click. After that the librarian can also able to add different branches if your school or institution has many branches. And can also able to add student categories if there are any. Such as undergraduate student or postgraduate students. And can give max amount of for each category to able to borrow books in the library.
After that, the librarian or admin can also able to approve the students who already register to access the library books. After that, the librarian or admin can also able to see all the registered students. After that, the librarian or admin can able to issue the books that student requested by using the issue or return book form. In the home page of the system, the librarian or admin can able to find books by entering the book ID to find the book detail inside the system and see if the book is available. and that the librarian can also search the issue book by entering the issue book ID and the result will show the book detail and the student that issued the book from the library. and the librarian can also able to search students by entering the student ID to find the specific student from the system. If the student is approved or not been approved yet, based on the result the librarian can print the result as PDF or can able to send an email to the student if the books that they took it's not been returned yet.
After that the librarian can able to see all the current issued books by clicking the current issue panel. To see all the results that are inside the database. Now, let's move to student section, where the students can able to register, to the library as a member. And after registering to be a member, the student will wait, his or her approval from the librarian or the admin to approve the student that that already register. After the librarian approved the student, the student can able to have access to request any books from the library. After that, a student can also able to search books from the home page of the system, and see if the book is available or not. If the book that the student is trying to borrow is available, then the student can proct else the student can wait till the books are available in the library.
I will provide the source code in the video description to able to download the project. And try to implement as your own. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions or queries, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I would love to response the comments and interact with the subscribers and non-subscribers. Thank you so much.